catch up and get ahead for the week of February 8th. According to the American Civil Liberties Union, the United States has just 5% of the world's population, but it has more than 20% of the world's prison population. The rate of imprisonment in the U.S. today is the highest in history. Replay the video from the San Antonio Dream Week panel discussion on ending mass incarceration and learn what you can do about it. The speakers included representatives from Free Pattered Women Texas, San Antonio Normal, Black Lives Matter, Texas Family Association, and the Interfaith Welcome Coalition. How can we talk about mass incarceration without talking about what brought us here, Dr. King? And Dr. King has this quote I want to share with you. He says, human progress is neither automatic or nor inevitable. Every step towards justice, which we the people believe in justice, but the criminal as you know, 2016 is a big election year. By the time it's over, we will have elected a new president of the United States. Step one in that process is Super Tuesday, the primary election on March 1st when Democrats and Republicans choose their nominee in more than a dozen states, including Texas. If you are a registered voter, you can participate starting on February 16th when early voting begins for the primary. Listen to what Andy Sarabia, co-founder of Cops Metro, has to say about this issue. Keep nagging them until they vote. Because it is your future that they will be voting on. On March 1st, there will be a primary election to decide which Democrat and Republican will run for the president. Early voting starts February 16th and ends February. When is a book transformed into artwork and a library transformed into a museum? Through February 20th, 2016, the gallery at the San Antonio Library is transformed into a book garden, a home to oversized southwestern lizards, busts of Renaissance men, Zen rocks, and other sculptures, all created by Taiwanese artist Longbin Chen. At first glance, most people think the carvings are made from marble or stone, but in fact, they're sculpted from books and magazines held together with screws and nails. Nowcast SA interviewed Longbin Chen about his work and created a series of videos to guide visitors through the exhibit. The videos were made possible thanks to underwriting from the City of San Antonio Department for Culture and Creative Development. And so Longbin Chen's work evolved from soft sculptures that open like books to larger objects held together by screws and nails with a coating, a hard stone-like carvable surface. Thanks for watching The Edge. See you next time.